today we will look at uh, sanitation and water supply sanitation basically sanitation is required for uh, having a hygienic environment and also to prevent epidemics and spread of diseases basically um, sanitation is a, uh, one of the most important uh, activity to be carried upon in the uh, farm as we know that sanitation prevents contamination of water resource and uh, it helps us having a, a better fresh water as we know that water is the uh, main uh, important resource uh, for uh, any farm to exist as water is used for uh, either drinking purpose of a uh, human animal and also cleaning uh, of the uh, farm residence or uh, the animal residences thus and also to raise uh, the crops thus water is an uh, uh, essential element in the farm and sanitation ensures that uh, flies mosquitoes uh, rodents and any other uh, disease carrying um, organisms doesn't come in contact with the sewage sanitation also means that uh, to prevent the locality being uh, ugly and also uh, to prevent bad odor sanitation can be achieved by having proper drainages and disposal system where it is uh, having an enclosed uh, where it is uh, in an enclosed uh, enclosure and this can be achieved by having either septic tank um, borehole latrines and also um, sewage pits first we will look at septic tank septic tank is an uh, underground structure made up of either concrete brick or uh, or else with the help of plastic and films here the sewage is allowed to um, fill in uh, inside the septic tank and the principle uh, the working principle of a septic tank is that under uh, aerobic conditions the ana under anaerobic conditions uh, the anaerobic bacteria acts upon the solid waste and converts it into either liquid or uh, gaseous form and um, um, gaseous form and any uh, solid material left over will be of inert uh, material and it doesn't affect any and it and and it doesn't affect the surrounding and the solid material left over is known as sludge and the uh, gaseous uh, uh, material which forms of uh, which has some uh, dissolved solids in it forms a layer on uh, in uh, on the top of uh, on the top layer which will uh, generally regard as sludge the uh, three uh, basic um, functions uh, of a septic tank is that firstly the solids are uh, seg uh, separated uh, separated and uh, second is that uh, solid uh, the bacteria acts upon the solids and converts it into either sludge and uh, uh, scum and in the third uh, it uh, the storage of sludge and uh, uh, scum in the septic tank sewage generally is either a liquid and a solid part of a human or animal excreta and sludge is the inert material uh, which uh, after the action of the anaerobic bacteria on the solid uh, sewage which is left over and settled down in the septic tank and scum is the foamy material after the uh, uh, the foamy material which is generated after the action of the anaerobic bacteria on the solids and uh, uh, um, forms a, uh, a gaseous uh, material and forms a layer on the uh, uh, inside the septic tank location of the septic tank look uh, the septic tank should be located uh, on the downhill uh, downhill side as we know that uh, the ground wa water uh, flows in the direction of the slope so to prevent uh, to prevent the contamination we need to uh, have the location of sub, uh, septic tank in such a way that it is in a downhill uh, side and the location of septic tank should be 30 meters away from the uh, source of uh, water supply in case of uh, the groundwater level uh, raising above 1.2 meter to the ground surface in the rainy uh, conditions this is to ensure that under uh, the uh, the rainy season the groundwater level tends to rise up and we need to make sure that the our um, septic tank doesn't uh, affect 
or else um, to eliminate the contamination from the septic tank to the groundwater level it should be kept uh, more than 30 meters away from the uh, water supply source septic tank should be kept 1.5 meters away from the residence and it may uh, the distance may, uh, may be increased depending upon the soil type and uh, the percolation rate of the soil as we know that uh, if the soils have uh, uh, lower percolation rate then uh, the uh, distance between uh, the septic tank and the residence may be greater than 1.5 meters and uh, the other criteria is that the septic tank should be uh, located in such a way that it is not flooded during the ra uh, rainy season as we know the we know that one if it is in a flood uh, flooded uh, area then the chances of uh, our sewage uh, getting uh, uh, mixed with the um, runoff rainwater is high and thus uh, contamination of the water source uh, can be seen location of uh, septic tank may be chosen based upon the area uh, availability for uh, disposal field or else uh, uh, drainage um, surface drainage and also septic tank should uh, aid in uh, cleaning and maintenance the septic ta tank should be easy to clean and uh, have a periodical maintenance uh, of it capacity of a septic tank it uh, 2.8 cubic meter of uh, area uh, of a septic tank can accommodate uh, can be enough for a family of five persons where two adults and three children are there and this uh, with an added uh, person uh, the area may be increased uh, by 0.48 uh, cubic meters per person in any case the septic tank should not be less than 1.2 cubic meter and a septic tank may be uh, may be made up of uh, two or more compartments for easy uh, inspection and cleaning uh, of the same and uh, a septic tank should be watertight uh, so as to ensure that uh, anaerobic condition is present inside the tank the septic tank may be made up of uh, cement and mortar and the walls may be plastered with uh, 1.5 centimeter of a uh, cement and the uh, depth of uh, the depth of the septic tank may be varied from uh, 0.75 uh, meters to 1.5 meters now let us take a look at uh, a schematic representation of a septic tank this is a schematic representation of a septic tank where baffles are provided for um, having a uh, dividing here baffles are provided for um, dividing the septic tank into different compartments by the help of two baffles now uh, the septic tank is divided into three compartments and the work of baffle is also to check the wave formation and also to prevent the solids uh, from getting out of the outlet the baffles may be made up of um, cement or else uh, any uh, material with the thickness of uh, 7.5 uh, centimeter and uh, usually the baffles are kept uh, 15 to uh, 20 centimeters apart from the wall the liquid depth of uh, the liquid depth uh, uh, inside the uh, septic tank should be kept uh, 0 0.75 to 0 0.15 meters and the liquid uh, should be up to and the out uh, and the lower end of the outlet should be at the near to the uh, uh, liquid level a 20 for um, a space is provided uh, above the uh, liquid uh, depth and it can be 20 percent of the liquid depth and this um, space is provided for the easy movement of uh, gases inside the septic tank and usually the septic tank is kept uh, 15 uh, centimeters below ground level and the walls of the septic tank may be of uh, 10 centimeters which where uh, the wall will be made up of uh, either brick or mortar and uh, having a cement plaster of uh, 1.5 centimeter on it in this some uh, schematic representation we can see that we have a sludge formation at the bottom and skirm formation on the top layer cleaning of uh, septic tank septic tank should be inspect uh, should be cleaned uh, one once in every two years and uh, it should be inspected on a periodical basis and the cleaning operation can be carried out if the sludge um, 
if the level of sludge inside the um, uh, septic tank reaches uh, reaches the lowermost uh, point of the outlet and before cleaning uh, the um, septic tank should be properly venti ventilated uh, if not the chances of um, death uh, is higher as uh, due to suffocation as we know that the septic tank is an arrangement uh, uh, which is um, uh, air airtight and watertight arrangement so in an uh, anaerobic condition that means uh, inside the septic tanks uh, oxygen is not available so whenever the cleaning operation is uh, carried out it should be uh, noted that uh, the septic tank should be thoroughly ventilated and then a person should uh, enter in for cleaning operation the septic tank should uh, not be cleaned fully and uh, one fourth of uh, the septic tank should be filled with water before uh, um, uh, leaving uh, before uh, the treating before treating the new uh, sewage because uh, this uh, this is to ensure uh, early uh, to start the bacterial activity activity if not uh, if uh, the system is fully cleaned the action of bacteria is delayed and the and the conversion of sewage into the uh, uh, the decomposition of uh, sewage uh, may be uh, delayed now we'll uh, take a look at uh, disposal fields all the subsurface uh, absorption sy system should be kept 30 meter away from any water supply for example if this is a water source our disposal field then the distance between this should be greater than 30 meters and in case of uh, stream our disposal field should be kept 15 meters away and in case of uh, dwellings should be kept uh, minimum of 6 meters and the distance may be varied if uh, uh, based on the soil type and percolation rate and the distance increases if the percolation rate of uh, uh, the soil is uh, lesser than 5 uh, centimeter per hour this is schematic representation of a sewage disposal system we have here we can see um, the inlet for a septic tank from houses and other uh, drainage system and the sub a septic tank having three different compartments and after uh, the treatment the waste will be coming out of uh, the outlet and this here the subsurface uh, tile sy um, system is used where either um, the, the individual each tile one two, like the individual tile the diameter may be of 2 cm and the length may be of 30 cm uh, and uh, or else the diameter may be 10 uh, centimeters and the length may be varied up to 1 meter and also long gauged uh, sewer pipes uh, may be used and uh, or else uh, perforated metallic pipes may also be used here and uh, these pipes are laid 45 centimeter below the ground surface and also it is um, placed in a mouth to mouth arrangement that means if this is a one tile and the next tile will be kept mouth to mouth and similarly the next will be and so on here the diameter may be varying from the diameter uh, may be 2 centimeters here the diameter may be 2 centimeters in case of 2 centimeter the length may be 30 centimeter and if the diameter is uh, 10 centimeter then the length may be kept as 1 meters and maximum the individual lateral may be kept maximum for uh, 30 meter long and uh, placed uh, 2 meter apart from each other and uh, mouth to mouth arrangement is preferred here and it should not be joined the lateral may be laid in a slope of uh, 0.25 to 0.4 percent slope and for uh, regional absorption purpose and uh, any coarse aggregate material can be laid all across uh, the tile in the trench and it may be fully covered and uh, at the trench bottom the depth of trench may be varying from uh, 18 um, this may uh, that uh, 
trench bottom may be varying from 18.5 uh, square meter trench bottom area uh, for uh, our uh, 2.83 cubic meter capacity. Septic tank may be of uh, any shape either a square, circular, rectangular or else square. It, uh, the shape does not affect the working of the septic tank. Soakage pit. Soakage pit is an another arrangement for uh, sewage disposal. Here the soakage pit are usually uh, uh, circular uh, type is preferred and the um, bottom of the uh, soakage pit is kept above the groundwater table level. A 15 square meter area of the soakage pit is uh, necessary for um, uh, 2.80 cubic meter of our um, septic tank that is the circular um, the circular uh, sto uh, soakage pit should be should be above the groundwater level this is ground level and uh, it should be kept above the groundwater table the bottom should be above the groundwater table for uh, uh, soakage pit having uh, 15 square meter area the diameter may be 2.4 meter and the depth may be kept at 1.5 meters and in this case coarse aggregated are filled uh, up to 20 20 centimeter depth and this particular aggregate may be in the of size 3 centimeter which is followed by uh, filling of uh, coarse gravel up to 60 centimeter from that layer coarse sand and above 30 above 30 centimeter will be filled by fine gravel and the remaining 40 centimeter may be filled by coarse gravel this is a schematic representation of a soakage pit the pit uh, bottom area of the trench may be varied for uh, different uh, soils for clay with uh, uh, light sand the bottom area uh, trench uh, for family of uh, five people may be for, for 55.7 uh, square meters and in case of uh, sandy loam it is 28 square meter and in case of fine sand and coarse uh, gravel it is kept at 18.6 square meters borehole latrines borehole latrines are uh, um, where a hole is dug up and then uh, temporary enclosure is provided for the privacy purpose and in the case of borehole latrines um, the hole is dug up using uh, auger and um, the hole diameter may be varying from 25 to 75 centimeter and the depth may be varying from 3, point, uh, 3 to 8 meters here plates are uh, placed uh, directly over the latrine for uh, sitting arrangements and uh, a temporary enclosure may be provided a borehole of uh, six, men, uh, 6 meter long uh, can uh, uh, is suitable enough for a family of uh, 5 people for year and the second pit may be dug up after uh, the first uh, pit is filled and uh, later by the time the second pit is filled the first fill, uh, the first uh, pit uh, may be um, emptied out and then used simult uh, used and the process may be uh, carried on uh, continuously water closet connected to a borehole a water closet 
uh, helps in eradicating the bad odor um, which is uh, pro, uh, which uh, is being produced in case of open uh, bore uh, borehole or uh, um, in uh, also it eliminates uh, the the risk of uh, spreading a uh, bad odor here now let's uh, take a look at uh, schematic representation of a water closet uh, connected with a borehole in this uh, uh, schematic representation we can uh, we can see that a water closet is uh, connected to the borehole and generally the borehole may uh, uh, in this uh, present example the borehole having a diameter of uh, 60 cm uh, outer diameter of 60 uh, cm and the inner diameter of uh, 40 cm is uh, dug up and uh, here the water closet can be segregated into different parts such as uh, pan this complete uh, portion uh, may be called as pan and uh, next is trap here this uh, portion is known as trap which eliminates the uh, the spreading of bad uh, odor and smell in the uh, latrine and the lead of pipe where uh, the sewage is carried from the latrine to the borehole and the slab are provided for uh, having uh, uh, foot rest for uh, foot rest and here the number of pits may be ranged to 1 to 3 and uh, as uh, as the first pit uh, fills uh, above 1.5 meter it can be disconnected and uh, can be connected to the other pit and the first pit uh, may be closed uh, with um, mud or sand and uh, by um, and it may uh, by the uh, time uh, the second is uh, filled the first one uh, may be emptied up and uh, be used or else uh, the third one uh, or the third can be used in the way and the process of uh, connecting uh, the uh, lead off pipe to one uh, first second and third uh, boreholes may be depending upon um, the filling uh, of the borehole now let us look at water source water is an uh, important uh, element in any uh, farm activity maybe for uh, consumption purpose by human or animals or else in the operation of milking and uh, clean, uh, milk uh, milking clean uh, cleaning of the floors and also to regulate uh, the temperature inside uh, in the um, controlled uh, animal shelters or else human residence hence water is an important um, uh, water is an utmost uh, important uh, element in a farm residence and also water uh, is used for uh, irrigation purpose the consumption of water may be uh, higher in case of summer and also uh, and uh, it, uh, in uh, lesser in case of winters water is used for both industrial and uh, agricultural purpose both uh, uh, have uh, both producers uh, 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 both produces a larger amount of uh, wastewater and these wastewater should be properly treated and should not be left um, open and uh, care should be taken that this um, polluted uh, water uh, should not join any water uh, resource uh, sub, uh, sources if the Contaminated water comes in contact with our uh, water resource, uh, or source water supply, then the risk of uh, spreading epidemics and diseases are higher. And a uh, lot of uh, such cases have been uh, come into light in uh, recent uh, cases, such as uh, chloride and fluoride um, uh, and uh, nitrites have been uh, um, detected in case of water and this waters may be, uh, lead to serious uh, health hazards so care should be taken for uh, an um, orderly man uh, manner to dispose the wastewater and such uh, uh, wastewater should be properly treated and then um, it should be uh, left for uh, uh, and it should be uh, disposed of and water is also um, as far as possible the water uh, um, water treatment plants and uh, water treatment and uh, other sewage uh, 
and drainage structure should be uh, as far as possible from our water source so as to prevent the contamination of our water resource. Thank you.